and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. I'm Priscilla. I'm the owner of A Life Full of Simplicity. Today we'll be unboxing and flipping through the Moonology Diary for 2024 as well as the Moonology Calendar for 2024, both of which are by Yasmin Boland and both of which are published by Hay House. Now Hay House did send me both of these for the purposes of review and to show on my channel so you can see them, check them out, and see if this is something that you'd be interested to purchase for yourself and your own practice. And I have to say I'm really excited because I'm actually a big fan of Yasmin Bolin. I have her two monology decks. I do have uh, one video showcasing both of these on my channel. I will have them linked in the cards. So you can check it out if you're interested in these particular decks. And she does have a third monology deck coming out in September called Moonology Messages, which I'm really excited for. And the artist for that particular deck is the same artist that did these did the cover of this and did the cover of this particular uh, calendar. So I'm really excited to dive in. It's going to be really fun. I have been interested in the past in getting the Moonology Diary, but I wasn't sure what the structure were, uh, was inside of the, the book to see if it's something that interests me inside and I never took a chance on it. So I'm super excited to see what we have in here, the structure and everything. I think it's going to be really interesting. So first I want to take a look at the diary. So I'm just going to put this on the side here. I mean the calendar. I want to, it uh, kind of came uh, unglued here. So let's open it up. So it comes in this kind of like box thing that you have in the back here. It says get in tune with the moon in 2024. It says, this is the year for transformation with astrological highlights and inspiring messages. The Moonology Calendar 2024 will help you to work with the lunar cycles to manifest a life of positivity and joy. Now, this does retail for $17.99 in the U.S. and $23.99 in Canada. Like I always say, when it comes to Hay House items, I always say check out their website because they have always good deals on their website and they constantly have sales and whatnot. So always check their website to see what they have. Uh, for North America, it's hayhouse.com. So they have items um, <clears throat> that you can buy if you're in the U.S. and in uh, Canada. And then, of course, if you are in Australia, they have a Hay House Australia website. And then if you're in the U.K., they have a Hay House U.K. website. Of course, I think the deals are always different on each and every website. So I definitely say to check uh, to see what they have. Of course, free shipping from hayhouse.com is for the U.S. and Canada if you spend over $25. So, yes, super interesting. I'm so excited. Look at this. I am excited when I, I think I talked about this in my upcoming releases for July. I... When they asked me if I wanted to review the calendar, I was like, yeah, sure. You know, uh, of course, I'd be happy to review anything that they send me, of course. And I thought it was an actual calendar. Like, I thought it was like one of those wall calendars where you have each month there's a photo and then you have like the calendar view that you put on the wall. That kind of calendar. That's what I thought. But then when I saw it in the... Um, I was getting ready uh, for my upcoming releases and I saw it there and I was like, wait a minute, this is like a whole different kid type of calendar. It's the kind that you like tear off a page and you have to like tear off a page each day. But I'm excited because this stands up. So it has like some assembly instructions. So I'm planning to actually display this on my altar. I'm going to put this on my altar uh, once I clean it up because... I'm still in the process of like doing a bunch of things on my shelves and stuff. So I have to clean like what would be my altar space. But I am excited. This is where that's going to be in my opinion. I'm going to put it there. So you tear this back page off and there's like some kind of like stand thing. Um, I'm not really sure how this goes. Let's, you know what, let's try it. <laughs> let's see what happens. I don't know. Okay. Okay. So step one, it says to fold out the left wing of the stand and then the right wing of the stand. Okay, let's see. Okay. Okay. 
Then what does it say? It says... Uh, pull the center wing until it locks into position between the left and right wings. Okay. How, how do I do that? I don't, I don't know what I'm doing. Ooh, uh, this is harder than I thought it would be. Okay, there we go. Okay, there, I think I got it. Oh, look at that. Oh, brilliant. Brilliant. Okay. We got it. Okay, good. <laughs> okay, those are the steps. So it's standing now. Okay, I like that. Okay, but I'm going to hold it so you can see. So this is the cover. Of course, you can like rip, you would take off the cover, obviously, when you want to get started in the, in the month. This is obviously for next year, so I wouldn't be starting this now. So I think I'm going to keep the cover until I'm ready to start it in January or just before January, that is. So we have a little welcome message here that you can uh, tear off. So it says, welcome. The ancients looked to the skies for guidance, and now you can do the same in the year ahead. Every day brings different energies as the moon and planets cycle through their paths. This calendar will help you to tap into the highest possible energy, manifest your goals, and ensure that 2024 is, a full, is full of positivity and success. And it says, have amazing year. Yasmin, love that. And then we go into the first one. So what you can expect is you'll have the day of the week, the date, so the month and the day. You'll have what the moon is in, in what uh, zodiac sign, so the moon in Virgo. Then you'll have a little blurb here, so you'll have a little Virgo sign, and then a little glyph, and then you'll have the little message. And then here at the bottom, you'll have which moon phase it is in currently. So if you're familiar with the different moon phases, then you might know what that is specifically. If not, the diary does have the moon phases, but if you don't plan to get these together, then that's okay too. And then you have a bunch of different information. I love this. Honestly, this is so good. I love it. And there's like different colors. So we have like this pale pink. We have a darker pink. We have black. And then we have this like gold color. So those are the colors, which matches well, in my opinion, with the, the cover. So I feel like that's a, a good aesthetic. Is there anything at the back? At the end? Oh, we have some stuff at the end. Let me just see what we have at the end here. Okay. Ooh, we have an affirmation for 2025. Okay. We have about Yasmin. Perfect. Her decks that you can get. And then some copyright stuff. And then some stuff about Hay House. Of course, you can follow them on the following places this is specifically hay house uk if you want to follow hay house um us you can follow uh hay house at hay house inc on instagram but yes that is exciting i love that i'm going to put that on here now and let's move on to the diary so the diary does come with this cute little bookmark um ribbon thing it has little frills at the end. So cute. I love the cover. I'm really excited about her new deck because I'm really into this art style. It's like a collage kind of art, which all her decks are pretty much collage-y in my opinion. But I especially like this kind of collage. It's really nice. So let's get into the back. So the back states, manifest your goals, attune to a higher energy, and prepare for a magical year ahead. 
Transformation and joy are key themes of 2024. It's a powerful year for major shifts. Tap into the moon cycles to access all that's on offer and work with the law of attraction to manifest your dreams. This year brings 25 new and full moons. Each new moon brings a chance to start over. Each full moon gives us a chance to release everything to the divine. The four eclipses of 2024 will open portals to a new life. This diary is perfect, is the perfect tool for embracing this year's potential. You'll discover how to create, plan, and predict events of your Uh, sorry, predict events or changes in your life, invite incredible opportunities and positivity, positivity into each day, attune to the energies of each lunar cycle, set and achieve goals for yourself, recognize the optimum times to enhance different aspects of your life from finances to romance. So the diary itself retails for $16.99 in the US, $22.99 in Canada. So let's get into it. So the inside is green, which I thought was interesting uh, because the cover is like sandy colors, you know, this red, this kind of like orangey yellow kind of colors. So I kind of wish they did what um, they did with the calendar was go for more of these kind of tones um, to match more the the cover style instead of the green the green is very in your face if the cover was green then i would have loved it better but if they went with more of this like beigey kind of sandy color would have been uh, nice i think to tie into the cover so we have uh, this diary belongs to and then you can put your name there probably going to do that next year we have a table of contents here which says welcome to 2024 how the moon can change your life working with the houses moonology of 2024 we have the weekly diary we have the planner uh year planner for 2024 2025 and then about the author so we have a little welcome page then we have the how the moon can change your life so we have some information here we have some information on working with the phases of the moon so it gives you the different um little phases and whatnot. Uh, There is also a challenge here uh, to use this like every single day or every single week and throughout like and whatnot. And you're supposed to take the challenge if you're up to taking the challenge. So you're supposed to put your name there and then sign it, which I find really funny. Then it has little blurbs about each and every moon phase, specifically the new, the first quarter, full moon, last quarter, and the dark moon. Then we have another kind of challenge here that you're supposed to sign as well. Um, that if It's this specifically here. If you want to take the challenge also, you can just sign it. And then we have some information on um, working with the new moon. We have some astrological things here in regards to the signs, the zodiac signs. We have some ways of working with the full moon. Then we have some information on working with the houses, which I thought was really interesting. Um, so you have like the different houses and what they mean and whatnot. So you can really bring in or tie in the new moon and full moon to the house, to your houses in your chart. So you can really like get into your own chart and things like that, which I found was really interesting. And I love this kind of thing. So I'm really excited to work uh, with this particular, uh, particular aspect in my opinion. Then we have the Moonology of 2024, where we have some uh, highlights for the astrological year, as well as some uh, eclipses and super moons and whatnot. It's a major events. Then it goes into the weekly diary. So we have first the a year at a glance pages, which is the calendars. And then it goes into the last week of December which the layout seems to have uh, this week 
it gives you what's going on in that particular week with the um, transits and whatnot. Then we have a quote of the week and you have a little weekly page. So you can't really write much in between here, in my opinion. So I'm thinking that, and I write a lot and I write big. So I'm thinking for this specifically that I'm going to use her Moonology decks plus her upcoming um, deck release uh, that's coming out in September, I believe, which is the Moonology Messages. And I think I'm going to use her cards with this particular diary and pull a card each day and then write down the message or the quote or the affirmation or whatever it may be into uh, the diary itself. Then we go into January. So I'm not going to obviously show you the full thing, but the structure should be the same from month to month, pretty much. Almost obviously information will change and things like that. Quotes will change and whatnot. But I will show you January so you can get an idea of how the layout is for the month. So we have the month page. It gives you the main four moons. So it gives you the last quarter, the new moon, the first quarter, and the full moon. It tells you when they are and in what sign they are. Then you have some information on the month. Then we go into the first week. So it gives you the information of what's going on that week. You have the moon cycles here each and every day. Of course, it tells you when the last quarter is here and in the calendar page or the weekly page. You have space here to talk about what you're grateful for this particular week, which is pretty nice. I feel like, uh, at the end of the week, this could be a nice thing to do at the end of the week. Or you can split it in half and write small and write in the beginning of the week and at the end of the week. Then we go into the new moon. So it seems like there's pages specifically for the new moon and the full moon where it gives you information about that moon phase uh, and it gives you an activity to do. So we have uh, what it's in. We have the times and dates for depending on where you are. It gives you uh, California time, specifically LA, New York, London, and Sydney, Australia. It tells you when it is and what time it's at. Uh, it gives you some keywords to look at for that particular uh, new moon in Capricorn and it gives you some information more information. You can do uh, how to transform your psychology, change your life, things like that. And it gives you some information on how to work with this uh, moon, particularly in regards to the houses, which you would have to go back and look at uh, in terms of the new moon houses, which are these ones. And then depending on which house it's in, which for example, Capricorn for me is in the house, is in house, el no, yes, house 11, house 11 for me. So I would go and I would look at house 11. And this is what it would say for house 11. And then it gives you some questions and little uh, some questions and then a little bit of space to write uh, inside. And then this specifically is about setting goals and action steps. So you have to sign again that you're going to commit to the goal that you're setting, which I find so funny. I love it. It's like it, there's a lot of accountability in this by signing that you're going to do that. Then it goes into the next week, which again gives you the information for that week, gives you a quote. This time there's a quote instead of a gratitude thing. Here again, we have gratitude. And then it goes into the full moon, which takes place the following week. Yeah, it takes place in the following week. So a full moon is in Leo. Again, we have some keywords for that particular lunation. We have the date and times, depending if you're in LA, New York, London, Sydney. I am in New York time zone, which is Eastern Standard. So this would be the day and time for me specifically. We have some information on this particular moon. Some information on, we have an exercise here about rating yourself, then working with the moon in terms of the houses. 
And then again, some questions and place to write uh, to answer the questions. Then we go into the last week, so the last week, yeah, the last week before we enter February. And again, it gives you uh, some information about, you know, Venus moving into Capricorn, the full moon that takes place, which takes place between the 25th and 26th, depending on where you are. We have a quote. And again, all on the side, there's always the moons and the different moon phases and what signs they're in. And then we go into February. So the structure is pretty much uh, the same, um, in my opinion, for for each. And then at the end here, we go in. So it goes up until, let me tell you, it goes up until January 5th of 2025, just to let you know. And it shows you the year at a glance for uh, 2025 in here though these diaries if you plan to stick with this particular diary uh they come out in the summertime so you have plenty of time in my opinion to get the next one then we have about the author and that's it now my thoughts on the diary i write pretty big so i'm not sure i don't know I don't know who, if anyone's watching and actually uses this diary, okay, please let me know in the comments what you use it for, because the space is very small. This would be good specifically if you want to work specifically just with the moon. I feel like the space would be enough, and for me, I feel like I'm going to work with the Moonology deck, so I would be able to just pull a card each day and just write uh, maybe just the... Um, what do you call it? The affirmation or the statement that's on the card, because a lot of her cards have statements on them and whatnot. But I feel like if you were to use this as an everyday thing, you wouldn't be able to write much of your to do's or tasks or anything within these small little unless you write really small, then maybe maybe my content planning, this would be enough space uh, to just write like, OK, I'm going to post this video on this day kind of thing probably would be a good thing but I feel like I'm going to use this specifically for moon work because I feel like it would be a really nice thing to use this for specifically uh, especially because there's a lot of moon activities within the book other than other than that like the lack of space I really like this I love the activities I really like the different pages that are dedicated specifically to the new moon, specifically to the full moon, and the fact that it gives you different activities, different questions that you can answer. Um, I love the fact that you sometimes have some accountability things, and by signing it, you're giving yourself some accountability, and I feel like that's fun. It also brings in uh, astrological stuff, like here... Some information here talks about Pluto and whatnot, which I found really interesting. So I feel like you can really learn a lot uh, with every single new moon and full moon um, in that regard. Would have been cool if they included included uh, pages specifically for the first quarter and the last quarter as well and how to work with those. I think that would have been fun. I think people would uh, probably have liked that. Maybe that could be something, just a suggestion for maybe next year. I don't know. Um, but uh, if they decide to do something else or give a different structure or something, that might be a few extra pages. I don't know if they would be willing. This is pretty thick already, so I don't, I don't know uh, on the binding if they'd be able to do that. But other than that, I really like it. I'm excited to work with this in next year. So we're going to see how this goes. I'm going to, I know recently I haven't been doing any planning videos and it's mainly because I've been a little burnt out. So I've been just taking a break from the planning, but I am going to be getting back into it very soon. So this will definitely be featured in my planning videos in 2024. So I will be including the this particular planner in there as well. And I'm really excited to do so because I think it'll be a fun thing. This is going to be a fun thing to do every day by just pulling and reading the little blurbs and whatnot. And I'm excited to put this on my altar space. 
and use it every day. You may see some YouTube shorts um, or things like that um, on here or some reels on my Instagram or some posts on my Instagram threads there, the little threads app now that we have. So definitely look out for that in the new year because I will be including um, things like that on there. So yes, those were the Moonology diary and calendar. Let me know in the comments below what you thought. Is this something you would bring into your collection? Is this something that you would buy? I'd love to hear from you no matter what. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Turn on that bell so you can be notified every time I post a brand new video. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up as it's greatly appreciated and helps me in the long run. Thanks so much, and I hope that you have a great day.